Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to take a look at the next four tools in Photoshop Elements. Let's go ahead and go over to the toolbar. We have our text tool, we have our crop, our cookie cutter, and our straighten tool. I have a couple examples of the type tool up right now. This is standard type and this was used with the mask. So if I click and hold on the type tool you can see that there are four different types. Horizontal and vertical of the type and horizontal and vertical of the mask. Let me turn the eyeballs or the visibility off on my layers of these two layers here, these text layers, and then we're going to go through the first one, which is the type tool. Let me choose the vertical type tool just because I haven't done that one in a little while. And I have chalk duster as one of my fonts that I like, so I'm going to click on chalk duster. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to type the word grass. Now if it's a little bit too large here we can always double click on this. It's going to highlight all of our text here and then if we want to change the size we can actually go here and type in a size like this is 172. I'm going to type in 100 and then the green check. And what that's going to do is that's going to place my text on there vertically. Now if I click the down arrow I can always change the size but you'll notice that it only goes to 72. So if you want anything larger than 72 you're either going to have to resize this or you're going to have to just type it in. Now I find it's easier just to type it in. So there is 100 and that is the type tool. Now if you want to change the color you can just double click on the T in your layer that will highlight your text and then you can change the color. So maybe I wanted this to be a red color. I can also change the shape of this so I can create warped text by going over to the warp text tool right there and I can choose something different like maybe an arc or I can do the manual or custom things where I could change the bend myself right here using these sliders and then I can vertically and I can horizontally distort these and select OK. When I'm done I click the green checkbox and there we have it. That is the type tool. So these are all the options right here. You can add a bold right here, a fake bold right there to your letters. You can also type in an italic underlined and a strike through right there. So these are all the options for your type tool. Now the next one we have is the horizontal mask tool. You could do it vertically as well. When you click on your picture you'll notice the mask comes up and I'm going to type the word in grass right there. When I'm happy I'm going to click the green box and you can see the marching ants appear and there's no actual text here. That's because you can fill in the marching ants was something that you want. Maybe you want to go down here and you want to add a gradient. I'm going to add a red to blue gradient. I'm going to click up here and I'm going to drag down like that. And as you can see I added, I hit command D so you can see that better, I added a gradient to my text right there. Just a quick way to add gradient. I'm going to add another layer, another text layer. Let me go ahead and use the vertical type tool here. Type the word grass again. Check the green box there in the marching ants. Here we can go to the edit menu and we can fill our selection. So here we have it. We can fill that with a custom pattern if we want to. Now these are the custom patterns that are already in Photoshop. So maybe I wanted to give it some sort of a weird checkerboard pattern. I could select OK and then Command D so you can see that there's a weird checkerboard pattern that's inside here. I'm going to hit Command Z a couple times because I want to show you that there are uh, the marching ants again. The next thing that you can do is you can also stroke this image by going to edit and then stroke and maybe you want to just stroke the image which means giving it a small line. I'm going to stroke this to the inside and I will stroke it five pixels. Now let's take a look and see what that looks like right there hit command D and as you can see it just stroked it. It just put a little line on there. So there's all sorts of fun things that you can do with the type text tool and the mask tool. Now the mask tool has a little bit more options that you can do just because of what you can fill it with. Now I'm going to turn off these layers again here 
because we need to get this original photo. Okay, now that I've turned the layers off, I am going to go through the Recompose tool right here. That is the one that's underneath the Crop tool. When you click on the Recompose tool, this box comes up and tells you how to recompose. This is maybe if you have a photo that has a lot of people that you want to shrink down a little less wide or a little less tall. So what you do is you go in and you highlight the object you want to keep and the objects you want to get rid of. So anything that you want to get rid of you are going to use this one right here which is the little red X here and you're going to paint on whatever it is that you want to get rid of. Now this works in conjunction with the crop tool so I am just going to quickly paint over this flag because I'm going to get rid of this flag. It could be a telephone pole or whatever it is that you want to do, but I want to get rid of this. Now, I don't have to paint anything as far as wanting to keep because I just want to get rid of something on here. Now, I grab one of the side uh, boxes right here, move that inside, and as you can see, the pole disappears. What it does is it shrinks part of that photo and then gets rid of the pole. So that's what the recompose tool does. It's really useful if maybe there's a stray child or something on your picture and you don't want to have them in your picture you can just erase it and then shrink this a little bit and it'll get rid of that child. So I'm gonna hit cancel. Alright, there we go. And I'm gonna get out of this one and I'm going to go to the crop tool. I use the crop tool once in a while. I also, as you see in my other videos, I use a rectangular marquee and then I just go to image then crop once I have my marquee there. But this is kind of nice when you're doing a crop and maybe you want to crop something like this. You can see the areas that you're going to get rid of. So you just drop that down on there. Now of course you can go and you can make a specific size here. Maybe you want a 5 by 7 and you wanted a certain resolution, maybe you want it 300 pixels per inch there, this will now be a 5x7 at 300 pixels per inch. So there's your options right there. You also have some presets right here, maybe you want an 8x10 or something different like a 4x6 that you're going to print out over at one of your local stores that has one of those printers. So those are your options right here. When you're happy, you click the green checkbox there and then your image is cropped and there we have it. Okay the next tool I'm going to cover is this one right over here and that is the straighten tool. When I was taking this picture as you can see it's a little bit crooked. It was very hot on the ground and I didn't want to lay on the ground so I didn't really get a good job, do a good job of making this perfectly level here. So we're going to straighten this in Photoshop Elements. There's a couple different ways that you can do this. If you use Grow or Shrink Canvas or Crop to Original Size, it is going to add transparency and you will have to uh, crop it yourself manually. Or if you use this one that says Crop to Remove Background, it will automatically remove those transparencies for you. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me do it the first way, Grow or Shrink Canvas to Fit. Once you do that, you select an area which should be horizontal and you draw a line across it. That is the area that I want to be flat because I knew that was horizontal when I took the picture. And as you can see, it added these areas right here of transparency. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go to my crop tool after that and actually crop it to get rid of those particular areas right here. We can go ahead and hit escape. And then I'm going to do a command Z to undo that. Now let me show you the other way. Let's go to the straighten tool again and this time let's pick crop to remove background. I'm going to select the same area right here. Drag that across there like that. Now as you can see this time what it's going to do is it's going to get rid of all those transparent areas. So whichever way you want to do it that is the way that you can straighten your photos with the straighten tool there. The last item I want to co uh, cover here is the cookie cutter tool. This one's kind of nice. You click on the cookie cutter tool and you really do need to go up here to the option bar after you're done. You need to go over here and you can pick some items using this double flyout area. You can see that there's different types of shapes here. If you want some trees or food, let's go ahead and check out the food. You have some food right there or maybe you want to look at them all by going to all element shapes and we can pick some sort of a sheep or something right there and if we draw that shape 
onto our picture right there it's going to eliminate everything else I can hit enter or the green checkbox and as you can see it created a nice little shape out of that now if you want to crop the photo down to a certain size you can check this box you can also feather the outline so it's not quite as sharp over there but I'm gonna check this crop one right here I'm gonna pick a different shape over here I'll pick some sort of a cat shape here and then let's go ahead and do that and then hit enter and there we go it cropped it to that particular shape right there so these are the four tools these are your text tools we covered the horizontal and vertical the type tool that actually puts a color inside there the mask tool which you can fill with a certain type of uh, picture or pattern or you can stroke this we covered the crop tool where you can crop it you can use the recompose tool to get rid of people or flag poles or any other types of poles we use the straighten tool where you can straighten it and then leave the um, transparency there or you can get rid of the transparency and last but not least we covered the cookie cutter tool where you can cut out shapes of your pictures and then automatically have it crop this is Chucky from Digital Goulash if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my videos pass the link on to somebody that you think could use some tutorials on Photoshop elements cheers